Welcome back. In the last screencast, I show you how to extract tabular data from web pages. Um, I'm going to show you a different method of doing that using LibreOffice or OpenOffice. It works in there, and there are parallel ways to do it in other spreadsheets as well. Um, and uh, and hopefully this will be very useful to you. Let me show you um, an example here. I'm at this page. I'm at lostindigitalmusic.com. And um, I found a table here that compares digital distribution services. Okay, and we see things like it's comparing TuneCore, CD Baby, Mondo Tunes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This looks like a really handy table, and it looks like it's in tabular format. Looks like it's in tabular format. So I'd like to copy this. And in the last screencast, I showed you how you can just select this whole thing. Okay, I could just copy that. And I'm in LibreOffice here. And let's say I just wanted to paste that. I'm going to paste without formatting. Use Command Shift V. And if I click OK, I see I see a, a hint here of a problem. It looks like it's probably going to mess up my formatting. I'm trying to figure out how this formatting is going to work and maybe it's fixed with. Uh, no, that doesn't seem to work. See, um, formatting is not really um, working out very well for me. Let me click OK and see. Yeah, that that's no good for us. OK, so fear not. There are other ways to do this. I'm going to do Command Z and I'm going to show you a different way of extracting data from uh, a website when it's tabular. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, and introduce to you the uh, insert link to external data feature right here. It's just under the insert menu. You're looking for something called link to external data. And there are, the, you can do this in LibreOffice or OpenOffice. Um, and I, I, I'm sure that there's a way to do this, uh, almost the exact same thing in Excel as well too. Just look for something called link to external data. So um, what we'll do is I clicked on through there and then um, the little dialog box appears here that says, hey, give me the URL of the external data source. And my external data source is this this page right here, this table on this page, and the URL is just this address up here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in here. And what you need to do now is, because it's not necessarily evident, you just need to hit enter. Once you've pasted the whole thing in here, you're going to click enter and you wait. And then what LibreOffice does, see the little the little beach ball appears there. LibreOffice is actually going and checking out that page and looking for tables on that page. Okay. So here we go. The first thing it says is, hey, select the language for use and import. Sure, automatic looks good. OK, that sounds good. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then what we'll see down here in a few moments is a list of all the tables. It looks through that page and it says, OK, this is all the data I can give you. What do you want from here? And you may be looking at this going, I have no idea what's going on. Don't worry about it. Let me explain to you what these things are. OK, I'm going to skip H. I'm going to skip HTML underscore one to begin with. HTML underscore all, that's just everything on the page. And we don't want that. Very rarely will you want to just import the entire contents of the web page into a spreadsheet. Usually you are doing this because you just want to extract data from a particular table. Okay. Um, HTML table will just pull out all the tables, okay, any data that is in a table. And if there's multiple tables on the page, then it will just sequentially list all of those tables there. And again, most of the time you don't want all the tables. Most of the time you just want one of the tables. Okay. Um, we won't worry about table press for now. You won't usually see this. Um, but then leading to the question right here, if this gives you all the tables, what do you do if you just want to pick one of the tables? And that's where you look at wherever it says HTML underscore one. In this case, if we just go back here, there happens to be only one table on this particular page. Okay, um, so that's why, and in this case, the first one is called HTML underscore one. That's the table we want right there. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works. I've selected HTML underscore one, just indicating, okay, yeah, pull the first table you see off this page. I'm going to click OK, and we're going to wait just a couple seconds while it goes and it extracts this data. And do do do. It's coming. There we go. There's all our data. Okay. Now notice it did I mean it did try to copy some of the formatting and in this case you even have it even copied over the links for you, which depending on the application this might actually be useful for you. Let's say I can let's say I want to be able to um, auto format that to there we go. There's my entire table and you can format this however you wish.
Okay, so there you go. That's how you do that. Let me show you a new example. I'm going to open up a new uh, sheet over here. And uh, let's try this out on this Wikipedia t page. This Wikipedia page actually has a number of different tables. Okay, there's a table right here. This is the list of campus radio stations in Canada. There's one table right here. Lots of interesting data here. Here's another table, this internet radio station table right here. Let's say I was interested in this. Okay, let's actually do this using this method we just learned. Um, again, in LibreOffice, we go insert uh, link to external data. We need to get the URL of the external data source, so I'll go catch it right here. I'm copying that by doing Command C. Switching back to LibreOffice, I'm going to paste that right in here. What do I do? There's nothing to click. I just hit enter or return. And we wait a few moments and LibreOffice says, hey, what language do you want to use for import? Automatic is fine. And we wait. And in this case, okay, what do we see here? We see HTMLs 1 through 4. There's all and there's tables. We don't want all because that's just going to import everything from the page. Uh, we don't want tables either because that's going to import all the tables. Um, this is telling us that there are four tables on this page. Does this make sense? Let's go take a look at this. Okay, well, here's clearly one big table here. I see that. There's another table here. Where are the other two tables? Uh, see this right here? This technically is a table. Okay, and this is a table down here. We're not interested in this one. This would be number four, three, two, one. We're not interested in number four. We're not interested in number three. Let's say we just wanted number th uh, two, this one right here. Let's go back here and say, give me table number two. We'll click OK. And it does its magic. There we go. There's your information pulled from the internet and we have a few formatting uh, weirdness here simply because there's some French language characters that didn't convert over very well but that's pretty easy to fix. Okay, so now you know a second way, a second method of extracting, extracting tabular data from web pages um, that actually gets the spreadsheet to go get the information from the web itself. And there's even ways that you can do this and set it to check on a regular basis to see if the data has changed. And depending on what the application is, that actually could be a fairly useful thing for you. Um, I hope that that's helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.